We want to hit on both sides today of what we just saw at Molyneux Wolves beating Chelsea 2-1. Let's start with the victors, Robbie. How did they take it from nil-nil at halftime to a 2-1 victory? Um, they played with better intensity, played with more purpose. They have a bigger threat at the top end of the pitch. They're a less glamorous club and have less quality, but play with more spirit and actually are more likeable. You, you, mm. you can see that they're giving of their best. Chelsea have a team with strikers and centre-forwards who can't put the ball in the back of the net, and there can be a number of reasons, some of which is the lack of concentration and being clinical. They have defenders at the, at the back who don't defend their goal well enough, and you have that at both ends of the pitch, and, and Poch can rant and prod as much as he wants. That performance, after what's happened this week and after a couple of good results, is really worrying for Chelsea Football Club. I want to get to Chelsea, uh, mm -hmm. get it back there in a moment, but first, Wolves, I know you liked them a little bit yeah. in the first half. You must have liked them more in the second. Well, the game was exactly what, what, I, what I thought it would be and said at the beginning of the game. Chelsea's a better team, quality front to back, but we know the performance that we're going to get from Wolves. We got that. Backs to the wall, good defending, strong together, and then a clever set piece, nick something, strong in both boxes. I, I mean, it's exactly what we thought it would be, and then unfortunately we just don't know what, what Chelsea's going to turn up. When you say up. Chelsea a better team, though, Tim, what, mm. what do you mean by, uh, play, by that? Players. I, so I think, the quality of players, uh, what the they've spent. The quality of players, what they spent, they're underperforming, clearly. But when you look at, when you look at the, the Wolves team, I don't think the quality of players is, high, is as high, but, but the way that they perform as a team, particularly at home, that's why they got the result. Let's look at Chelsea now through the lens of really the way we started the show, the, if you want to call it rant, that Pochettino had on mm -hmm. Friday where he called out his players for complaining about uh, playing time or lack thereof. He does that Friday. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't get any response on Sunday, Robbie. No, which is a worry um, because where do you go next? Do I have another rant and put people further back? Do I have to give them a bit of confidence? He would have thought about that. He's, he's a very smart, intelligent coach. He would have thought about what those words was, he was saying, and he probably felt it was the right time to do it. But the worry is, sometimes just that little bit of spirit and drive that you want from your football team. I look at those Chelsea, sh and I, and I recognise the shirts, but I don't recognise this team. Mm. That, that isn't a Chelsea team. That's not what Chelsea do. That's not what they have been about. What's your lead, Chelsea? Well, I think in, in regards to what, what's next... I've been in dressing rooms where, where a manager has a go at us and rant, and the expectation is he knows his players, as my managers knew our players, and he was going to get a response. When you don't get a response, it is the what's next question. It, it's, it's exactly what Robbie said there. Does he give them another rant? Well, it's kind of falling deaf ears. He, he's going to have to be clever, which he is, and find another way. The good thing is... There's not a lot of time in between games now. He can pick another team. He can give some guys another opportunity to go again, to perform. They have a good run of games that they should be winning, but as we saw today, not guaranteed. They need a centre forward. Yeah. Bottom line, Amongst they others. need a centre forward. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.